Hello everyone. In today's podcast, I've asked uh, Ms. West and Mr. Fielder to join us and talk about the transition between grade 10 and grade 11, specifically in our science program. And as you're picking your courses now, you're probably trying to decide which courses to take in grade 11. And I think the key here is to really look in grade 12, choose your grade 12 courses and actually see where you want to go and then you can backtrack and pick your grade 11 courses. Very important decision to make. Please listen carefully. I think some of the uh, experience and some of the wisdom that comes through will help you. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Jennifer West, the department head, and this is Chris Fielder and we teach science here at St. Mike's Secondary School. We would like to spend a few minutes offering some suggestions and observations on choosing the correct path as you select your courses for the grade 11 year. You may recall the transition from grade 8 to grade 9 as you experienced a new school, classes, friends, teachers, and a fresh set of expectations. The jump from grade 10 to 11 is also a significant transition time for students. Although school and teachers remain the same, the students now have more choices and even higher expectations. One thing that we have recognized in our successful science students is that they all have the following four characteristics. One, they know how to st study. Two, they know how to access information. Three, they are self-aware. And four, they know how to communicate effectively with their teachers. Firstly, they know how to study. The student is aware of upcoming assessments, leaves sufficient time to gather and process resources, can connect big ideas, and seeks help where gaps in their understanding remain. Number two, they know how to access information. In the digital age, information is readily available. However, students must be able to, to discern the validity of the source. They must access a wide variety of sources and not rely solely on the internet. They are self-aware. Today's student is often involved in many extracurricular activities. Recognizing the importance of time management and scheduling is crucial to their success in their endeavors. Academically, a student must be aware of their learning styles and needs. Both math and language literacy skills are essential tools in senior science courses. And lastly, number four, they know how to communicate effectively with their teacher. As a course leader, the teacher is one of the greatest resources to a student's learning. The student can readily enhance this relationship by clearly and openly communicating their needs. So when deciding on courses to pick, we feel it is most beneficial to use a top-down approach. This begins with the student considering possible careers, browsing the post-secondary programs to prepare them for these careers, and finally identifying the prerequisite courses required for the desired program. The post-secondary programs all have a minimum grade, so it's important to be realistic, as a student's grade 10 mark will only improve sometimes. You may also want to involve your science teacher and guidance counselor in the decision-making process. They are both excellent resources to discuss possible career pathways and the necessary course selections. This is a flowchart which shows the grade 11 and grade 12 science courses offered and identifies the prerequisite courses required. As you can see from the chart, all three university level science courses require grade 10 academic science as a prerequisite and it is highly recommended that the student excelled in grade 10 academic math as well. So first, let's talk about our three university level courses. In biology, there's a preconceived notion that this course focuses on human biology. This is not the case, but rather many different aspects of biology are covered. It is important that a student shows a true commitment to learning as a wide variety of knowledge is covered with a true application basis. The chemistry is a direct takeoff of grade 9 and 10 science. Not only does it build from previous science courses, but it also continues to build in a cumulative fashion right through to grade 12. The topics tend to be quite theoretical and proficiency in algebra is essential. Grade 11 physics departs from the content covered in grade 10 as the university physics course becomes primarily focused on solving and analyzing math-based problems. Now let's focus on the college level senior courses. These classes are all offered as single courses, grade 11 or 12. The prerequisites are the grade 10 academic or applied science. The biggest measure of success in these courses is directly related to the student's commitment to learning. All these courses require students to spend time doing independent learning outside of the class hours to solidify course concepts. Students may also want to consider taking the physics or the chemistry course in their grade 11 year as offerings of these courses are limited. 
And finally, our only mixed level course is environmental science. And it is a program directed to those students interested in making a difference in their community from an environmental perspective. Course material evolves around effective communication strategies, action planning, and project-based learning. We hope you found this information helpful in selecting your courses for your senior year. Please feel free to ask us any questions and thank you very much for listening.